Not here. Uh, for another video, what we have here is Spectricide Insect Killer for Lawns. I have an ant problem. Haven't sprayed this in a couple months now. Starting to get more bugs around here. This stuff does actually pretty good. Now, I live in Florida and I have St. Augustine grass. What I suggest you do is to find out, you know, if this is good for your grass. For my brothers and sisters up north, you have cool turf. Make sure that this is okay with that. But I did find that uh, this does pretty good with St. Augustine and it does have this active ingredient. So the next thing that we want to do is make sure that we read the label on this, okay? So this has a lot of great information on here. I'm going to open this up. Uh, lots of great information, and this will answer a lot of your questions. Now, for the application for this, there's actually two ways you can go. You can spray this on um, 2,500 square, square feet or 5,000 square feet. I'm doing it 5,000 square feet today. Um, 5,000 square feet is really good for, you know, ants and moths and, and, and fleas, things like that, things that are, that are on the surface that are topical. The 2,500 rate uh, is more for grubs and subterranean insects and problems that, that, you know, you'll probably have with that. Okay, guys, another thing that's really important, okay, is to have a map of your property, all right, and to section that out in thousand square feet right so as you can see this is the area that I want to be doing this is a thousand square feet and we have it in here and over here and then this green area right here have this color coded you can color code it if you want um, but this part is really important because this will give you a really good layout of what a thousand square feet looks like what it feels like and also when you walk it off you'll really understand exactly what's going on with your lawn and your property now there's online tools that that you can use i know one of them is google uh, earth i believe um, this is a new development with us we had the house built so these were the plans right here and i was just able to do this pretty easily but you can use google earth there's there's other tools on the internet that you can just draw lines around your property and find out where your thousand square feet is it's really important to mark off these thousand square feet footses right around here so you can have an understanding again of what your property is and how you can apply product to your lawn this is a 32 ounce bottle and it covers 5,000 square feet so we need to know the application rate okay how much do we put down per thousand square feet all right this is a 32 ounce bottle and we want to put the entire 32 ounces down on 5,000 square feet all right so we need to figure out what the application rate is now what we have here is we have five one thousands in this yard we have one two three four five each one of these is a thousand square feet so we simply divide 32 by 5 and we get 6.4 so that's 6.4 ounces per thousand square feet of this is going to go on your lawn now for me what i have my yard is 4,300 square feet, but I still want to put down the full 32 ounces of this, okay? So what we do is we take 32 ounces divided by 4.3 because I have 4.3 one thousands, right? My yard is 4,300 square feet, so I have 4.3 one thousands, and my application rate is going to be 7.4 ounces per 1,000 square feet, okay? Uh, I'm not going to worry about the, you know, half an ounce or anything else like that. I just want to make the math easy. So what I did was I'm going to put down seven ounces per thousand square feet. Now I still have this one left over. All right. This is the 1300 that I have left over. So it's one, two, three, and then the 13 that makes 4,300. All right. So what I did was I'm going to put seven, 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 that's 21 ounces out of that out of this 32 ounce bottle so all i did was i just subtracted the 21 from 32 and i get 11 and i'm going to put 11 ounces on on the last part which is 1300 square feet you can also use one of these ortho dial sprayers as well you know they're pretty good right here um i got i actually got these on sale i got this on sale on, on, on amazon for about five bucks each so I bought about three of them. Um, so this is filled up again with 32 ounces. And so we're gonna go have some fun spraying this. Let's go out to the yard and uh, see how this works. Okay guys, so we have this hooked up. Um, 
obviously this is a hose and sprayer right here. We know that seven ounces is, is gonna go on for every thousand square feet. So the next question is, how fast is seven ounces gonna come out of here? Okay, that's why we have a, a handy dandy stopwatch right here, okay? So what we do is we depress this trigger right here. Water's gonna come out, the solution's gonna come out, the insecticide, and I'm gonna start this. Okay, that didn't really move too much. So I'm just gonna keep doing it and see it's right right below 28. All right, so as you can see, the hope right here, this is level, have about 25 ounces left. That means that I put about seven ounces on a thousand square feet, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So I think it worked out pretty good. And uh, hopefully, well, I know the spectrocyte will take care of it. So like, subscribe, comment, and share. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.